So here we have a, a trinomial, x squared plus 6x plus 1. Um, it's a trinomial because it's got three terms. It's a polynomial with three terms, so we call that a, a trinomial. And so two of the terms, the first term, we've got an x written in it, and the second term in the x squared, and the second term we've got 6x written. So what completing the square really means, what we're trying to do is we're just going to fiddle with this expression, this tr trinomial, until the x is only written in one spot. Alright, that's basically what we're doing and we're doing that because it makes it easier later on. If you want to take the square root of it or if you want to graph it or find the turning point form, it's a lot easier if you can complete the square on this expression and get the x written in just one place. So the way you do it, we're gonna, I'm just going to jump in and start doing it and then talk a little bit more about how and why along the way. So, the first step, write a bracket squared with x plus half the coefficient of x. Now the coefficient of x up here is this 6, and so we want a bracket squared with half of that 6, x plus 3 squared. Now if you look at that, if you are familiar with expanding just that x minus 3 all squared, that's going to come out to be x squared plus 6x plus 9. So that's where we get this 3 from. We just look at this six, the 6 here and we take half of that value and we whack it in a bracket and then we put the brackets, bracket next to the x and we put the brackets around it and we square it. But then, so that what we've got here is that x squared plus 6x plus 9. So the next step is to get rid of that 9 because effectively what, what, by writing it like this we've got these first two terms but we've got a plus 9 on the end and so we want to get rid of that 9. So you subtract the square of the number in the bracket. So you look at this 3 and you say 3 squared is 9, so you're going to subtract 9 off. And so you end up here with x squared, x plus 3 all squared minus 9, and where this 9 is the square of this 3, and it's always subtracted. And so if you expanded all that out, you'd be left with just x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 9 and that's almost the same as what's written up there so what we the next step is we just write the constant term from the trinomial so we've got the x squared plus x plus 3 all squared minus 9 plus 1 and then you simplify you can add that 1 to this minus 9 and get x plus 3 all squared minus 8 and then you can write that x squared plus 6x plus 1 is equal to x plus 3 all squared minus 8. And they are exactly the same. You can try and substitute some x values in. You know, choose uh, minus 3 or 15 or 21 or 6.92 or 58. Whatever you substitute into this side, and if you substitute the same x into that side, whatever happens, they will be always equal. And that's the process of completing the square. Um, and you can also, you can check your work, you can expand this out and it shows you, well we'll do that, you start off with x plus 3 all squared minus 8 and then you expand that out, you've got x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3 and then you've got the minus 8 on the end and then you take this x and you multiply it by everything in that bracket and you add it to plus 3 times everything in that bracket. So you've got x of x plus 3 and plus 3 of x plus 3 and then the minus 8. And x squared plus, expanding this first one out, you've got x squared, x squared plus 3x, and then you've got another 3x plus 9. So that's where you get your x squared plus 6x plus 9, and then this minus 8 is made up of this minus 9 and this plus 1, so that when you subtract this 8 from this 9, you end up with the original thing that you started with. And that's all you're doing in completing the square. We're just fiddling with this x squared plus 6x plus 1 and getting it into this form, x plus 3 all squared minus 8. But they are identical. Sorry, the values of them are identical. And that is all we're doing. And you can change the value of the x. You can change the values of the different terms and I'll make it 5, otherwise you'll think that uh, it's only 
and you can go through all the steps again and the numbers all change and the maths all changes but the expansion still works and the algorithm still works and so you can write any trinomial that starts with one at the front here and you can follow this process of completing the square and it ends up written in a way where the x is only appearing once and that is all about completing the square